Hi everybody, Chris Stuff, the Clyde Savannah Athletic Director here. Upcoming on June 12th, we have our first duathlon here at Clyde Savannah. Duathlon is going to be a 300 yard swim followed by a 5K run through the community. And I just want to offer a few different training, just for running, training ideas that you can use if you want to push yourself forward and compete in this event. So the swim part of things, 300 yards is the equivalent of 12 lengths of the pool. Uh, we can talk about that maybe at a later time. Right now we're just going to give you an idea on how to kind of progress up towards getting to the completion of a 5K. One of the biggest things that I do if I'm inside on the treadmill, the weather's not great, is that I will do kind of a walk run pool. So on here, I'm just kind of walking, going at 2.5, and on this right side, it shows my mileage. My finger, I'm not gonna touch the button now, but this is gonna bring up my speed. On this side, is gonna bring up my incline if I'm going uphill. So all I'm doing now, I would say, is maybe do a three or four minute warm up walk to get your body loosened up. And then, depending on your level of fitness, is how long you're running versus how long you're walking. If you're really initial to the idea of running and trying to get into this, we're gonna do a 45 second run followed by a 45 second walk. So I'm gonna bring the speed up on this treadmill to a nice slight jog. And we're just gonna go at about 4.7 miles per hour. And I started this out at about two minutes. One of my favorite things to do with the treadmill is I don't like to use programs. I like to work with just the arrows on the left and the right side because it's easier to bring your speed up, bring your speed down, and you can be really consistent with it. So for 45 seconds, I'm just gonna go through a nice little jog on my 30 seconds down. You'll notice that the heart rate tends to go up a little bit and you're working your way through. Speed is, is still at about 4.7, our mileage is going up. And then what I'm gonna do is with this arrow, kind of bring it back down to that walk pace, maybe 3.0. 45 seconds on, 45 seconds off. If you are way ahead when it comes to that progression athletically, increase your time running and decrease your time of walking. So over time, if you can go to that 45 seconds on, 45 seconds off, or minute on, minute off, then eventually you progress to maybe a minute and a half on and 30 seconds off. And then after a while, you get to the point where you can run for three, four, five straight minutes. So I think long term, the goal is to progress up to running pretty consistently. And if you don't know the distance on a 5K, it's 3.1 miles. So we're gonna progress hopefully by that June 12th date, giving you the opportunity to get up to completing that 3.1 mile run. Thanks.